What's going on YouTube? So in the past, I made a watch collection video just showcasing some of the watches that I own and, you know, giving my take on them. But I don't think I actually made a watch video regarding just one specific watch. And today I thought I'd do just that. So I picked up a watch here recently within the last week and I've been wearing it every single day that I've owned it. And it's just really impressed me, and I really enjoy this watch, so I thought I'd bring you guys a little video of it. Now, the watch that I'm going to be talking about is this G-Shock here. This is the G-Shock model numbers on the back, GSTB400. So, really glad I picked up this watch. I've been thinking about getting it for a while and stumbled across a pretty good deal, so decided to pick it up. Now... If you guys know me and my taste, I do really enjoy G-Shocks. Um, just their functionality, the durability, and they kind of just fit my lifestyle. So I really enjoy it. And I've had several G-Shocks. I still have several G-Shocks, but this one has definitely become my favorite. Um, especially for just like an everyday type of watch, you know. So I thought I'd just go over it with you guys real quick if any of you out there like g-shocks as well you'll probably enjoy this video so let's get right into it now most g-shocks that i own are typically like this where it's all resin you know you don't have any steel really but this is one of their g steel models obviously with the case here being mostly steel um it's a little bit different from G-Shock, and I think they executed it really well. I mean, it just looks great. So the back here, back portion of the case, is their core carbon or carbon core guard. So if you can see, it might be hard to tell, but it is carbon fiber in the back. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now, I guess let's just start with the face. So as you can see, it's a typical analog watch. I do prefer overall analog style watches compared to just a plain digital watch. I don't know, just the feeling that an analog watch gives me is just something that I don't get out of a digital. That's just my personal opinion. I love digital watches, um, but I've always just kind of been old school analog, so I decided that I really wanted an analog G-Shock again. I have a couple, um, but this one really stood out to me. So I'll be doing some comparisons, you know how I do it, but basically you got two information windows here. You got your second timer and your seconds, and you got a little display window here. Now I know it may be hard to see um, just because of my lighting, but let's just go over some of the functionality here. So as you can see, you got your date window there. Now, if we cycle through the adjust button here, you'll get different displays. So obviously you got your day, you got your time. If you know, you don't want to read with the analog, you want to see it digitally. Hit it again. I'm actually not sure what REM stands for. So I don't, I don't know. We're just going to skip that. And then back to your date. Um, you also got your little date light savings marker. If you have that enabled, um, you got RCVD, which is means it's been received to your phone, your cellular device. This is a Bluetooth watch, so it will connect to your cell phone. And that'll give you some features through the app. Basically, it will give you exact time. Since your cell phone's going to be exact time, it'll link and pair with your G-Shock here to be the exact time down to the second. So that's pretty cool. It updates and you can sync the watch to your phone and, you know, get exact time um you got your light right here your backlight so that'll light up your two displays here and these are negative displays so it is kind of hard to see during the day and you can it's probably hard to see now through the video but if you click that up uh the light will illuminate those lcd displays and it also has a big light right here that will shine up and you'll be able to see you know your time and everything like that uh, search button over here you press that and it will go ahead and sync with your phone again and give you exact time on your watch now I've only had this watch for about a week 
and I haven't had any issues with timekeeping. I mean, it's perfect. So that's really good. Now let's go into the mode button here. The mode button, if you can see, there's a little like fan type design. It's pretty, pretty cool looking. Now there's a white line marker right there indicating that the battery is on high. There's H for high, L for low. Now, when it comes to battery, this is a solar powered watch. So you don't really have to worry about replacing the battery. It'll last a very long time. This is their tough solar technology. So any light, sunlight, fluorescent light, doesn't matter. It's gonna charge the watch. So you don't gotta worry about anything really. Um, so as you can see that white line is pointing to H. If I press it one more time, it'll go down to the world time, which you can set, stopwatch, and as you can see, it comes up in the display down here. You got a timer, alarm, pretty sure you can set multiple alarms if you want, and then it will go back to high. I just really like how they did that there, that little attention to detail with the little fan there. It looks really cool. Um, you know, it's better than just a normal, you know, display. So that was pretty unique, I thought. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much, you know, the modes you can go through. Um, you know, you got your backlight, you got your Bluetooth connectivity. Um, so yeah, it's, it's nothing too crazy. Um, you know, there's some G-Shocks out there that are much more complicated with, you know, all types of features, but this is a, you know, average set of features on a on a G-Shock that you'd come to expect. And quite honestly, I don't really use any of the features. I don't use alarms and stopwatches and all that. I have, you know, my phone for that. So I basically just want to watch for the time and the date. Um, so that's why I have it set here. I can see the date and I can see the time. Um, but yeah, if you need a G-Shock that, you know, has all kinds of features, then there's definitely a G-Shock out there for you. But this one in particular really fits my lifestyle, so I decided to pick it up. Let's talk about the strap a bit. So strap is a really nice rubber strap, and you see it has a little bit of a design here. It feels really good. Now, this rubber strap is a lot higher quality than you will get in, say, this is the classic DW5600. Um, this is just like a harder material, a resin. You can tell by the way it bounces. It's a lot more stiff and definitely not as comfortable as this all rubber strap. I mean, it's really, really comfortable. Super, super soft to the touch. It just feels great on the wrist. This is the most comfortable G-Shock that I've ever owned, and I have several. Um, you know, the this one right here, the DW5600, is really comfortable, actually. You can wear this all day, no problem. Um, that fits my wrist really well. Now, I also have... What is this? G-Shock has so many different model numbers, guys. If, if you're a G-Shock person, you know it's hard to keep track of them all. The GA2100. This is a super popular watch, and I've, I've gone over this watch a little bit. I love this watch. But this one, for me, in my wrist shape, is actually not as comfortable as the DW5600. I don't know, just the way the case is and how the bands come together. But uh, this is also the same, like, harder, cheaper resin material like the DW5600 has. But this is not that. This watch is completely different with the strap. It's definitely, you know, more of a premium material. And it's so, so comfortable, really. I mean, you can wear this watch all day. You don't even know it's on your wrist. And it's heavier than both of these models. Um, it's just really that comfortable. Let me throw it on the wrist here. Show you guys what it looks like on my skinny ass wrist. <laughs> so, here we go looks really really good and man it like the way it hugs the sides of my wrist here is perfect i really don't feel it at all i mean it's extremely comfortable and i think it looks really good on the wrist um it's, it's great it's a perfect fit so for some reason this watch here let me throw it on actually sorry y'all gotta work with what i got here with my camera set up This watch is also comfortable, but the way it hugs this area of my wrist on both sides, it, it pinches it a little bit. It's just not as comfortable. It's like 
is a really big pressure point right here that I feel the band at. And, you know, I don't feel the band down here, but I feel it here, like, pressing up against my wrist. It's not uncomfortable at all. You can, I've, you know, worn this watch all day long, no problem. But it's definitely something you notice versus something like this with the really soft resin strap, or rubber strap. The resin straps are going to just not feel as good, you know. But definitely also comfortable as well. Um, so, yeah, just thought I'd show you a little, little bit of a difference there between the straps. If you go with a more premium G-Shock like this, it's going to come with a better rubber strap. Um, and you will notice the difference and enjoy it. So let's talk about the back here. Um, you just got your stainless steel back. It goes over some of the things. Uh, you got your tough solar, your water resistance up to 200 meters. That's really good, even though I don't do diving or anything like that. But I love, you know, having a waterproof watch. Um, goes over your carbon core guard there. And just some bunch of numbers and model numbers and stuff. But yeah, man. I mean, this G-Steel just looks great. They have some other G-Steels. Um, this watch even comes in all metal link strap uh, or band. But I prefer the rubber strap, to be honest. Especially for just a casual, everyday type of wear. And, you know, if you're doing exercise and stuff, I like, I like having the rubber strap. Um, got your little keeper here with your G-Shock logo. And it works really well. Um, as you saw on my wrist, there's not too much of the band sticking out, and there's not too little. It's literally just perfect, which is great. Uh, the buckle here is just their classic stainless steel buckle. Works really well. And you can take off these uh, straps here and replace them with the metal link if you want. I don't think I'm going to do that, though. Um, it's a really thin watch compared to all their other G-Steel models, supposedly, are way thicker. So... I like that. Um, big old stainless steel buttons there for your controls. Those are really easy to press and really easy to access. Uh, your minute and your hour hand also is loomed. So I don't have a flashlight with me, even though all the flashlights that I own to light it, to light it up. But those hands do glow in the dark. So that looks really good. Um, I'm just going over random stuff, guys, to be honest. I didn't really have a specific order that I was going to make this video in. Probably should have, but hey, I'm just going with it. Now, the dial is like this metallic dial, really reflective, as you can see. I'm trying to get it in the light. Um, it kind of gives off multiple colors, a little bit of like a rainbow when you hit it in the certain sunlight. Looks really good. Your minute markers are red, if you can see. Um... Just really good looking dial, to be honest. Really, you know, modern. And uh, this is a really masculine looking watch, to be honest. You know, with all your steel and your sharp edges. Um, so, I really enjoy that. It looks really good. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of what else I can really talk about here. Um, you got a little white paint on the hour markers. Um, they don't loom or anything. The only thing that is uh, glow in the dark is your hands. But that would have been kind of cool if, if that was loomed as well. But it does make, you know, reading the time a little bit easier. But uh, the hour markers are like big blocks, so it's it's not hard to tell the time at all. Um, but yeah, man, just a really, really good watch. You know, you got all your G-Shock properties, and it's pretty much one of the strongest watches out there. You know, you got your water resistance, you got your solar. It's not multi-band, so, you know... If you're looking for that, you're not going to have that feature, but it does connect to your phone Bluetooth, you know, so you're going to get perfect time anyway. Um, so yeah, the, you know, that's pretty much it. I mean, nothing really else to talk about. Kind of went over everything. I didn't go over, you know, all the little features and how to use every single mode, but, you know, if you've owned G-Shocks in the past, um, it's pretty similar to all the other ones you have, but yeah, just a really great watch. Uh, I think it's mineral crystal, so it's nothing too crazy. It will scratch on you if, you know, you're not careful. But honestly, all these watches have the same mineral crystal, and I've never scratched any of them. And I use these watches every day, and they don't sit around and do nothing. So I don't have any issues with the glass that they use. Excuse me. So, yeah, it looks really good. Um, as you can see, like, the bezel here is kind of brushed. And then you have also polished surfaces. 
So you'll go from brush, polish, brush, polish, and man, it just looks really, really good. They they knocked it out of the park with the G-Steels. Um, you know, their, their front plates are just amazing looking, especially if you go outside. It's really reflective and shiny. And, you know, this watch is just perfect for just an everyday sporty watch that's, you know, not not really dressy at all. But it's also a little bit more, you know, elegant than, say, something like this. You know, these are really sporty. But you can't really wear these anywhere. I feel like you can wear this in a lot more places than you can wear these. Um, just because it's a little more modern, a little bit, you know, more fancy looking. Um, but it just goes really well in a lot of different scenarios. So I find it to just be a great overall daily watch. If you're looking for a G-Shock, you're looking for something that's a little bit, you know, upgraded from just a classic all resin G-Shock. You want something a little bit more, you know, fancy. I would say look at the uh, G-Steels. There's a few different models. I think there's the B100, 200, 300. This is the 400. Um, there might now be even more. Um, but for me, the 400 was definitely the one that I wanted to pick up. Um, it's just so symmetrical and uniform. Some of the other ones have, you know, a different set of features on one side versus the other. I like how the B400 here is just perfectly symmetrical. Um, just looks really good. So yeah, I'm not going to take up any more of your guys' time. I think I went over pretty much everything I, I wanted to. Um, just a great, great watch and I will continue to enjoy it. I might be making some more watch videos in the future, you know, depending on, uh, you know, what type of watches I get in my experiences. But, you know, I'm really into watches. You know, that's another one of my hobbies. So I thought I'd bring it over to my channel. Um, anyways, guys, before I end here, um, I wanted to say... I know I haven't made too many videos recently. Um, back in the day, I used to pump out some more. Just, I've had a whole bunch of life changes recently. And, you know, I might share some of those details in the future. But, uh, yeah, just been, you know, really busy. So, haven't been pumping out as too many videos like I used to. But I'm still trying to get out there. and still, still trying to put out videos for you guys. And, you know, for any of my old subscribers and people that have been watching my channel for a long time... Or, you know, people that just stopped by and watching me for the first time. I really do appreciate you and every single one of you that watch my videos. It does mean a lot. And, you know, I don't make these videos, you know, just because for me, I make it also for you guys. You know, I want to share stuff with you guys, interact with you all, you know. Just pretty much talk and go over different hobbies and interests that we have and, you know, have a little community here. You know, so I really do appreciate you all watching, you know, you guys are what makes up YouTube and why people make videos is for, you know, to share with others. So I know I'm just rambling on and on here, but I really do appreciate anybody that watches my channel and any of you guys that have stuck around um, for a while now. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say, guys. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well and I will see you in the next video.